Uh, Alright, hey guys, it is Matt from Animal Electronics, and hope you're having a great day. I know I am. Anyways, uh, today I wanted to bring you guys a tutorial on how you can get basically like the best or just really good quality on your videos, and basically show you guys my render settings. Um, for this tutorial, you will need the program Sony Vegas Pro. Um, Sony Vegas does work, I don't know why I said Pro, but you just need Sony Vegas. I will put a link in the description for that. It is quite pricey, but... Um, there are tons of tutorials on YouTube to get it for free. It's basically your choice. Um, you could get it for free, but it's obviously safer to pay for it. But it is expensive, like I said, so it's up to you. If you do want to get it for free, just look up a tutorial on YouTube. I don't know. Anyways, um, let's get into the tutorial. So uh, what you want to do first is go to the top um, and hit this check mark on like a little checklist or whatever this is uh it's it'll be titled as properties just click that this is your video pro yeah, project properties um uh for your template you want to just hit this little box and depending on what if your capture device or camera records in 59.994 fps which is obviously going to run smoother but if your camera records in 29.97 fps just click the hdv 720 to 30p uh 12vd times 720 um, this preset that my cursor is on right now, um, but if your camera records in 59.94, click on this, uh, just do some research about your camera and you'll find out, so, mine, my capture device records in this, so I'm just gonna click this, and then, um, width and height, uh, if it's not, uh, 1280 by 720, change it, but it should be, um, pixel aspect ratio, 1.0000, uh, frame rate, uh, depending on, what your capture device records as, just like I said, um, and then uh, pixel format, you don't need to change it, uh, full resolution rendering quality, change it to best, obviously, just as it states, it's going to be the best quality you can get out of your video, motion blur type, change that to Gaussian, uh, deinterlace method, none, and then hit check this little um, box that says adjust source media to better match project or render settings. And then um, these are like the best settings you can get, so I suggest just checking this, yeah, taking this off, start all new projects with these settings. And then uh, go into audio. Uh, master bus mode is stereo. Uh, you don't need to change any of this except for sample rate and um, resample and stretch quality. Change the sample rate to 48,000 uh, and then change the bit depth. If it's not already 16, change it to 16. And then resample and stretch quality will be best, obviously. And then you don't have to change anything in uh, Summary, Audio, CD, and Ruler, so you can just hit Apply and OK. Alright, now that that's out of the way, um, after you're done, like, after you're done your editing or you just want to render out, a, like, a short clip or something um, to get a better quality, basically, w at, when you're at the stage ready to render, um, you just want to hit this beside the track. Uh, you just want to hit Track Effects. Uh, give it a minute to load up. And then um, hit this. Uh, this is... Basically, add an effect, plug in chain. If you don't know how to add it, just hit that white. I really don't know what that is, but hit that green little. I don't know. Anyways, it's really self explanatory. Sorry, I just had like. I don't know. Oh, I'm stuttering now. Anyways, I should probably get on the video. This is awkward. Okay, anyways, uh, hit Sony Sharpen, add, and then OK. I already have it in here, so. After you have Sharpen in, copy the settings that I have. Um. You could basically this is gonna make it a little make your image or video crisper. It's just gonna make it look a lot nicer. Uh, put it anywhere between um, 30 to 80, whichever looks best. Just play around with it until you get it the way you like. Um, right now, mine is at 32 because I thought it looked the best. Uh, yeah, so anywhere between 0 0.032, not 32, 0 0.030 to 0 0.080 is fine. Anything that looks nice, and um, another thing you could add in your uh, video is the effect color corrector secondary and then hit the preset boost mids this just brings up the colors a little bit more and I really like the way it looks just uh, play around with it if you like it keep it if you don't like it take it off and then um, once you're done with that you are ready to render so just hit render as oh this does take a little bit of time this does take a little long to open and then um, obviously check off the folder you want to save it in or browse it and then name it anything you want so this I'll just name it test and then uh, what you want to do is um, 
find, sorry to Mac users, but this program is only for Windows, unless you find a way to get it for Mac, but I am going to be teaching you the Windows version of this, um, uh, obviously, because that's what I have, and that's what the program is made for. Anyways, um, go into Windows Media Video, so WMV output, and then uh, find 6 megapixels HD 720 to 30p video, and then just hit Customize Template over here, and then I'm going to show you my settings, and you want to copy these, so... Name it whatever you want, YouTube HD or whatever. I just named my YouTube HD because it's um, my HD settings for YouTube uploads. Uh, check off include uh, audio, and then mode quality VBR format, Windows Media Audio 9.2, attributes VBR quality 98, 48 kilohertz, stereo VBR. Um, video, uh, you just want to change the mode to CBR format, Windows Media Video 9. Image size, high definition, 1280 by 720, pis, pleh, pixel aspect ratio, 1.000. Frame rate, like I said before, whatever your device or camera captures in. For me, it's going to be 59.94. Uh, seconds per uh, keyframe, 5. Override default compression buffer. You shouldn't have to change this, but if you do, just hit 3. Uh, video smoothness, um, anywhere between 90 to... Uh, 100 is good, but I keep mine at 90 because it's it looks nice and it's fast rendering. Um, I really like to render fast. Bit rate, don't have to change. Index, don't have to change. Project, don't have to change. And you were all set, just hit OK. Um, but what you should do, sorry I didn't tell you guys this earlier, just hit save here, and then it'll actually save it. There you go. And then uh, what you can do is add this, click the star beside it, and it saves it as your favorites and um, what I do is just hit show favorites only because I really don't use any other rendering thing except for this unless I'm going to share it with someone that has a Mac then I just use the occasional mp4 anyways I suggest you just hit show favorites only and you are done now you can render out your video hope you guys enjoyed uh, leave a like if this helped you subscribe um, for more tutorials like this follow me on Twitter and um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them below in the comments, and I will try to reply to all of them.